Hey guys, Street Pass Danny here. Welcome back to more. Hey, more. Last episode, we finally reached Shy Guy's toy box, and then, and then returning the lost, well, two lost items to two main important people. The first up being Rolf's cal Rolf's calculator, which, if which allowed us to get the I Spy badge, which allowed us to, well, which allows us to. Sniff out um hidden floor panels and um the um tow town um tow town shop guy with the storage key because he obviously can't run a business without that. The roll can run, can't run a business without a calculator. Yeah, one of them's stupid. <laughs> oh god, it's the tow town store store guy. Anyway, with inside the um tow town storeroom, we found out there was a toy train in there. And, and, um, the guys at the station here said there is no train. So, this episode, let's try and figure that out. You get the storeroom key back to the storekeeper. He must have been super happy. Happier than I am, anyway. There is no train, so I still have don't have a job. You guys are really getting- you guys are really getting paid to stand here, huh? Anyway, let's talk to you. Anyway, let's show him the toy train. Now prepare yourself, this is look, this looks very funny. Look, we can't very well ride on that- on that tiny little toy train. That'd be impossible. Put that back in its toy box. That is so- it's- it's funny in a way, cause, you know... You put your toys in a toy box? Well, he said, let's go put this thing back in its toy box. Some of you obviously get the drill here. That maybe this is its toy box. Now we just drop it in there, right? And bam, it just falls like a meteor in there. I still don't understand how you shrink down to like the size of a mouse when you're in that toy box. Anyway, let's re talk to these guys because now the train's here. The train's running again. We can leave anytime. Now, um, a thing we should um, talk about. If you go into station, you can't just talk to the guy and ask what station you're going to. You have to hit this switch that. Now, hit the switch right here that lets you certify yourself you're going to that station. And also, you also have to hit the color station when it goes well. We obviously can't go to the red station because the track's somehow out. And let's talk to you. Yahoo! You were, ba were back in business. This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks. Public tr train set up and running. You can use this the switch in the front of the station to choose the train's direction. Have you figured out which way you want to go? Please tell me again if you want are you sure that you want you want to go. All aboard And this toy train, you could literally just like walk in it. Anyway, it is time for us to move on to the train station. Where would you like to go? Pink Station. Now this part is absolutely crazy. We're leaving all aboard. Take note. Yep, that's right. A toy train literally can move out like this. Next stop, Pink Station. That whole line of dialogue was just him talking about how we're heading Station stop, Pink Station. Welcome to Pink Station, passenger. Well, now we're here at the Pink Station. Let's talk to this Pink Toad. Some guy, some shy guys just ran off with to the right with a frying pan. Oh, I just bet that he stole it from some innocent soul. And you know, he doesn't really want to cook anything with it. That is a true fact. 
Shy Guys are so obnoxious. I feel bad for anyone who likes the fan base of Shy Guys, because, you know, they're personally cock cock offended. Um, go down to, like, the, le the right up here, and you got yourself a mailbag! A bag full of letters. Return it to the post office. You know, I kind of see why they stole it. I stole all the mailbag, but not the frying pan. Anyway, we're gonna have to return that mailbag. Okay, here's our next trap. And like I said, oh yeah, um, Cammy says nothing there. It was only that first time she said something. Oh, we got ourselves a new enemy here. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna switch the bow. Okay. All right, our new guy is the Med Guy. Med guys are always in the air, just like the Sky Guys. Now, what Med guys can do is they can either heal one of their allies, heal themselves, or literally, I'm not kidding you here, restore or bring back another Shy Guy into the fight. So it's always best to take out um, Meg guys first. Their attack, obviously, is with that spike on the bottom of their hovercraft. Um, that spike on their hovercraft is just basically them just, like, abandoning, you no, know, like, cutting the engine off or something, and just letting it slam on you. So yeah, it's really best to take out um, Meg guys first, since they can be really devastating, and sometimes, they can even, like, sometimes if you don't take care of them, they can literally drag the fight out to four, um, shy guys out in the field. And you could have only started the fight with just that med guy. So, I advise being careful with them. Why do I do that? Anyway, um... Um, check this out. We're in the background now. Well, not really in the background, but we're just part of it. And have that first strike. Okay, we're back. And... I literally just PK Star Storm star, 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 star them because I didn't want to take it. Anyway, we got the Defense Plus bag. Decreases the damage that Mario takes by one. Basically, if you if you're tired of all oh, your enemies having defense, you can have your you can have defense yourself. Or in other terms, if you've ever wanted defense, now's your chance. But let me tell you, you know what? Instead of let me tell you, let me show you. All right, defense plus cost six BP. You want that one boost in defense? You're gonna work for it. That is basically it. And I kind of see why they do that, because, you know, defense is kind of broken. Now, for this part, what we want to do is pay attention to that Shy Guy. And... Leads to that. On oh, then that as well. Jerk. This is what you get for fun. And then he just gets the die for showing me his secret hideout. But yes, if you want to get through that part, just pay attention to the one shy guy there. They will always respawn. And that one panel will be a secret wall that can be flipped. But like, well basically all you have to do is you have to exactly, um wait for them to flip the wall, and then it counts. So yeah, that's how it works. What I was gonna say about, um, Kami Koopa is she doesn't say the line of what, what the trap is, but hey, there's our hammer bro. And the enemy, we will not be really seeing that much in the game. So... As we get closer, and there's like a bunch of treasure chests in the station. Anyway, 
We got the Ice Power Badge! Increases attack power against fire enemies by two. Basically, fire enemies in this game. If you try touching them, if you try jumping on them or whatever, they will hurt you. But with the Ice Power Badge, it's like just jumping on a normal enemy. Now, as we see there, meet the Hammer Bro. He doesn't seem to be hostile. So let's just talk to him. Hey, buddy, what's up? Yuck, yuck, yuck. What took you so long, Mario? How did it taste my hammer? How do you know? Like, you just got pooped out of the lawn, and then you were like, wait, why am I here? I don't know. Here it comes! And here is our so said mid boss of this. Well, one in like two half mid boss. We got like two mid bosses to go. But yes, here is the Hammer Bro! 12 HP! Really easy enemy if you have the Power Smash Bag! I'm dead serious, you can just take him out this fast. Or not, because Bo doesn't have defense. Can't go through defense. Um, I'm going to refresh here. And... Let us... Alright, just because this is a hammer rail, I'm going to have to bring out the nerd and do what's best. Alright, nerd. Do your key thing! by tattling on him. These are the Hammer Bros! You've seen these punks before, haven't you? No! Max HP 12, attack power 5, defense power 1. Be careful of that hammer. If it hits you, you can get shrunk in a wink. When the hammer rogue gets desperate, they'll there hold a ton of hammers, so watch it. These guys have been a pain for ages, so let's give them a old-fashioned whooping. As always, they're not to be un underestimated. So, this is how I made this enemy feel special. Anyone, if any of you guys know what I mean. Since this is... Whoa! Okay, there's your desperate attack. But luckily, because I'm smart and I bought life rooms, we are back! Anyway, this fool ain't surviving anymore. Let's end him because he's desperate. And because he's kind of a mid-boss, he does give out about eight, nine star points. But only drops two coins! Alright, nerd, you have your time as well. Time to move on. I thought I, I thought I said to open this chest. Anyway, we got the frying pan. Take it to Taste Tea! Taste Tea's frying pan. Return it to her. So it's Taste Tea, not Vice Tea. See what I mean by the Toads having teeth in their name? It's just really awkward. Also, I have no idea how Shy Guys were able to, um, use that secret door and have them, like, them keep on respawning. Makes no sense. I don't know, this game's, like, delusional patterns. Now, um, what we really want to do is we want to go back to Toad Town again because... Let me tell you the next area... If I, to I told you to save that cake mix. Well, it's a good idea you save the cake mix, but don't use it as an item. What you want to do is wait until you get that frying pan and go back to Toe Town. And I guess while we're returning to Toe Town, we will also um return the mailbag. I had a struggle saying that, huh? Anyway. 
Let us go do said things. Uh, I'm not really gonna like returning that mail back. No, I could have just. Wait. Sudden thought. Just hear me out, guys. Remember how Power Carry said he lost a bunch of letters throughout the whole entire world in Mushroom Kingdom? So, Kakaf, what's, for example, think outside the box here? What if a shy guy just found a gigantic mailbag on the ground and just thought, oh yeah, I'll totally like. Just take this, and then Parker come to us all like, I just lost him, and it's like, something good and all that, maybe. It's like, can you imagine that? And then you just finding him right there, and then if you had, like, Parker out, he'd just be all like, oh, hey, I remember that. Um, that'd be pretty funny. Anyway, Vice T, here you go. Oh, hello there, hun. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook. No, I'm so sorry. Okay, never mind, we've already heard all this. Well, here is your said frying pan. Oh, Mario. My dear, dear frying pan. Heart. You saved it from the Shy Guys. Thank you so much, Mario. Heart. For that, I'm going to make you something extra special. Put extra love. I will never say that. Here's the cake. I feel useless. I feel useless. I feel useless. You know why? Remember how I told you? Oh, it's not even vice tea, it's taste tea. Remember how I told- but besides that, remember how I told you? Save the cake mix. Don't even use it. And wait until you return the frying pan. This is what it was used for. You had to make the cake. A tasty cake baked by taste tea. Get it right, Dorian. Restore is 15 FP. This makes me sad. This is my most delicious cake. One taste of it wins my late darling's heart. You are not talking about me, are you? I swore I would never make it again, but you're a very special Mario. Oh, um, um, um. She's hitting on me. This is awkward! Oh, uh, no. Just one bite will make will make anyone go quit hitting on me. Just because I like cake, I just because I like cake and all that, I will make a second cake because cake's good. Just like corn. But yes, here I will. I will show you what the cake mix can be made out of, just so no one gets the wrong idea of it being a useless item. And there we go, see? Cake. Now I want to save that cake. It's like, the only reason why I'm saving the cake is, remember how I wasted that one maple syrup? Yeah, this is me, like, being, being of a way of replacing it. But now, guys, it is time to return the dreaded mailbag. But you know what? We're returning. If I'm going down, he's going down with me. Come on out, Park Carry. It's time to make you set right. Don't you look at me when I'm talking to you. Look at me. There we go. It is time to set you in your place. There's your job, the post office. Let's go inside. I'm just cringing at this door right now. So, I see your boss is an old hag. Well, I appreciate him more than you. Shy guy stolen. Oh, 
whole bag of mail from us. We failed in our duty. Well, of course you did. You let a simple shy guy steal your mail. Mm -mm -mm. Come rain or sleep or snow or shy guy, we're supposed to deliver no matter what. Whatever can we do? Well, here's your crap full of mail. Take it. I don't want to see it. Oh, that's it. That's it. Mail bag. Thank the bag. Thank you, Mario. You will never know how many people will be happy to get mail. Yeah, you better turn it in. If I don't get my mail the next time I order something, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to um, scratch a few bases now. Let me give you a small thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. You do that. Better be something good. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right, mailman. Cause you've given me something quite good. We are neutral for now. Neutral. Got that? Got that? Good. Women, let's get out here. Well, your boss let you off easy, car carrier. Anyways. This is a sad thing. Last episode, or quite a few episodes ago, we got a letter that said it was Merlin's. And I completely forgot to hand it to Merlin. Anyway, he'll talk about his dream. You are Merlin, correct? The name's Park. The name's Park, Harry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Well, here you go. Another letter, delivery, dual delivery. Postman job is never done. Hmm, who was it from? Oh, it's my granddaughter, Merle. She recently entered the family business. Well, she did. That's so. Oh, uh, I see. Interesting. She opened her business at Dry Dry Outpost, deep in the desert. Hey, I've been there before. So that's where I'm getting all my good luck. It's located somewhere quite off the, the main drag. She seems to be keeping very busy. That's good to hear. Thank you so much for bringing, bringing this letter. I'll give you this. I'll accept the, I'll accept the star piece from you, because you're a wizard. Star wizards can get stars from anywhere. How many star pieces do we have now? Wow, we are really close to that zap tap. Anyway. Well, Park Harry, I guess you're neutral as well. Why are these characters getting let off so easily? Well, anyway! Let us head back to, um... To, um, Shy Guy's Toy Box. There we go. I had to think of my train of thought. That, like, that happens every time when I just have to say the most simplest thing ever is... It's just, I have to think of my train of thought and... I don't know. Well, anyway! We made it. Well, not made it. Accessed the train in Shy Guy's Toy Box. Made it to the pink station. Got two cakes. Return the postman's bag back. And. And we. Oh, yeah, we gave the frying pan back. See? I thought we gave the um frying pan back to bite taste tea. Anyway, next time hit Mario, we will be taking on the anti guy, and that will be our one in uh, like half boss. See you guys then. No service.